You're on. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? Oh. I can see it in your eyes. Oh. You always try to discourage my dreams. What dreams? Of being a professional singer. <laughs> Hello, sure, is it me you're looking for? I can see it in your eyes. You're so cruel. Get started. I'm getting started. Hi guys, hi Sandy, hi Rosie. Sherm got me this new hat today. I got a big head. Yep. It's huge. It's full of air. Well, it's full of what, Sherm? Air. Did you just say my head's full of air? It's full of air. No, I think my head is full of wisdom, thank you. <laughs> or it wouldn't have all of this to set on my shoulder so tightly. It would away if it was full of air. That's full of air. Away. That's full of air. Away. That's full of air. No, it's not. It's strong and tight on its foundation. It's full of air. Cold air. Cold air stays down. You know nothing. Hot air rises. Cold air stays down. Nothing. Nothing. I am here with Sherm. Sherm, make some noise! <laughs> of course, you didn't think he was going to say hello, did you? I'm here with Rainbow... Um, with the rainbow, um, buttercup, and provocative tulip once again. Look at her tail almost straight up in the air. I don't know what happened to her overnight. Rainbow Dash, I don't know where she ran off to. She was on the couch. You're sitting on her. I am not sitting on her. I bet you are. I think I, I would bet know. you're sitting on her. I think I would know if I was I sitting on I think you're her. sitting on the horse. I think I would know. I think you're sitting on the horse and flattening the wings. Well, maybe she wants to give me a ride. <laughs> That's right. You better keep your mouth shut. All right, guys. Let's... <laughs> <laughs> dreams are crushed just for thinking about that. She'll probably never come back. <laughs> She's gone. What, sure? She's gone. I just heard the door shut. You're grounded from the computer for one month. We gotta get started. Yeah! You do! If you'd like to follow along today, we'll be reading in the New International Version. And we will be finishing up Acts chapter 21 with verses 37, reading through chapter 22, verse 16. And Paul was arrested yesterday, remember, in our reading. So today, Paul is going to speak to the crowd. We're going to see what Paul has to say. I believe he's probably going to, to talk about how he came to know Jesus. So let's just see.
As the soldiers were about to take Paul into the barracks, he asked the commander, May I say something to you? Do you speak Greek? He replied. Aren't you the Egyptian who started a revolt and led 4,000 terrorists out into the wilderness some time ago? Paul answered, I am a Jew from Tarsus in Sicilia, a citizen of no ordinary city. Please let me speak to the people. After receiving the commander's permission, Paul stood on the steps and motioned to the crowd. When they were all silent, he said to them in Aramaic, Brothers and fathers, listen now to my defense. When they heard him speak to them in Aramaic, they became very quiet. Then Paul said, I am a Jew, born in Tarsus of Sicilia, but brought up in this city. I studied under Gamiel and was thoroughly trained in the law of our ancestors. I was just as zealous for God as any of you are today. I was persecuted. I persecuted the followers of this way to their death, arresting both men and women and throwing them into prison. As the high priest and all of the council can themselves testify, I even abstained letters from them to their associates in Damascus and went there to bring them people as prisoners to Jerusalem to be punished. About noon as I came near Damascus, Suddenly a bright light from heaven flashed around me. I fell to the ground and heard a voice say to me, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? Who are you, Lord? I asked. I am Jesus of Nazareth, whom you are persecuting, he replied. My companions saw the light, but they did not understand the voice of him who was speaking to me. What shall I do, Lord, I asked. Get up, the Lord said, and go into Damascus. There you will be told all that you have been assigned to do. My companions led me by the hand into Damascus, because the brilliance of the light had blinded me. A man named Ananias came to see me. He was a devout observer of the law and highly respected by all the Jews living there. He stood beside me and said, Brother Saul, receive your sight. And at that very moment, I was able to see him. Then he said, The God of our ancestors has chosen you to know his will and to see the righteous one and to hear words from his mouth. You will be his witness to all people of what you have seen and heard. And now, what are you waiting for? Get up. Be baptized and wash your sins away, calling on his name. And that's where we're stopping with Acts today. So that is what Paul has told them thus far. Our song, Psalm 1. Book 1, Psalms 1 through 41, Psalm 1. Blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked, or stand in the way that sinners take, or sit in the company of mockers, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord, and who meditates on his law day and night. That person is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither, whatever they do prospers. Not so the wicked. They are like shaft that the wind blows away. Therefore the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the assembly of the righteous. For the Lord watches over the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked leads to destruction. That was Psalm 1 from Book 1. Psalm 1. And our Proverbs today is Proverbs chapter 18, verses 11 and 12. 
The wealth of the rich is their fortified city. They imagine it a wall too high to scale. Before a downfall, the heart is haughty, but humility comes before honor. All right, guys, that was our Bible reading for today. I hope it touched your guys' hearts. Let's get out our prayer books. Alright guys, we need to keep Sandy in our prayers. We want to keep praying for her to have a good work environment. She does go into work tonight. So we want to pray for her that she has a good night at work. We want to pray for Matt Nichols. He is in prison. In a very, very bad prison. One of the top three worst prisons in our state here in Ohio is what I heard. We want to keep praying for Eric because Eric desperately needs a kidney, guys. So you, you really should put him on your prayer list at church, if you will. We need to pray for Macy. She has her brain scan to see if her tumor has grown this month. And what we've been praying for, what I've been asking you to pray for, is for... God to take her tumor away. So hopefully when she has her scan done, it won't even be there no more, the tumor. We want to pray for Kenny Wellman. He needs a kidney as well. And he is on the transplant list now. We want to pray for Ona Whetstone, my aunt, Ona. She's in the hospital again. She got really bad. You know, her heart filling up with fluid and everything. And she's, her mind's going really bad. And somebody told me that they don't think she'll make it out of the hospital this time. But, you know, only God knows that. So we need to pray for uh, Ona Whetstone. Need to pray for Sherman Crabtree. He's having a lot of cramping and pain in his chest, stomach area today. And we need to pray for a miracle for him to get a car. We need to pray for April and Linda Thacker. They both have a lot of health problems. And we need to pray harder for April because she's been really sick lately. She's always sick, but she's been a lot sicker here lately, so we want to pray even harder for her. We need to pray for Christopher Servac. We need to pray for Roy and Lori Mollett. We need to pray for Barb Post, Joe Osborne. We will need prayers to keep staying on the right track. Hopefully he still is. We need to pray for Debbie Lee. We need to pray for Josh Mollett, Medalia Mercer, and their unborn baby, Braxton Lee. We should be coming any time now. Rhonda Karshner, we need to pray for. She might be having gallbladder trouble, plus she's got a lot of other health problems. We need to pray for Cindy, pray for Cindy Welsh. She's got health problems going on right now. And you can't have no more surgery till next month. We need to pray for Abby and Jimmy Myers. We need to pray for Amber Brown. She'll be having surgery. We need to pray for Tammy Ashworth. 
We need to pray for Shannon and her son Giovanni. Giovanni needs prayers for healing. And Shannon, his mom, needs prayers for strength and comfort and wisdom. Giovanni's got a rare illness and you could have couldn't even imagine, you know, your little son going through that all the time. So she, he really needs God's healing touch and she really needs God in her life. She really needs his strength and comfort and wisdom in her life. All right, guys. Well, those were our prayer requests. Let's go ahead and end in prayer and we'll be done for the day. Brother Jesus and Father, please watch over everyone on our prayer list. We know that you know their problems more than we do, Father, and you know what their future holds. So as always, your will be done. Please watch over everyone watching this video, Father, or listening to this video. And please let it touch at least one person's heart so that they turn to you or they share your word with someone and then maybe that person will turn to you or they'll share your word and then someone will turn to you or so on, so on. I love you, Brother Jesus and Father, with all of my heart and soul. Amen. Amen. Hey guys, that was our Bible reading and our prayer requests and our prayer. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Watch your cord there, sure, I'm sure. Yeah. Let's bring those souls to Jesus and God willing. I'll see you guys again tomorrow with another Bible reading. Bye guys. God bless.